Hello YouTube. Hello YouTube. This is my next toy review and this is the BattleBots mini bots. Now if you're unfamiliar, these were like really really kind of you know uh plasticky sort of rubbery replicas of the BattleBots in the TV show. Here's the I have only 8 of the 50 and you, and you can also get them as a chrome bot, which I don't know too much about cuz they were obviously a, very rare, I would have to say. Obviously, they're probably more uh, like a darker, shinier finish than what is here. And I have only eight, so I'm doing four here and four in a future video. They were all based on the uh, robots from season one and season two. Although, strangely, some of them were actually more obscure. You know, some of the more obscure names, you know, like Doorstop and Hominoptera. I mean... Heck, even Hazard didn't get one, and he was a champion in Season 1. I mean, yeah, maybe he just wasn't as popular back then, but I don't know, I still would have given him one. Still, you know, I bet so many other names, I mean, you would recognize Hazard versus someone else. But in any case, this is uh, Mahler 5150. It's, what's the strange thing is, these all, came, these all came with stickers. Mahler's actually features the Season 1 design, and it appears that it might be from Jim Spantowski's website, because of the you know, the position of where Mahler is on the, uh, I don't have the stickers on me, I can get them in the next video. I can display all the stickers. There isn't much to them, though. Mine are stuck on cardboard, that's how I got them. I got them on eBay, so. And this is Mahler 5150. Unfortunately, there are no decals whatsoever. kind of was just, made the mold, and it's like, okay, we're done. And they probably couldn't get the, you know, they probably had a uh, thing, you know, licensing that I would have had to actually get permission, so they decided not to do it. I mean, granted, other than that, you can still tell it's Mahler 5150. It's a little hard to tell, but I think if you give it a closer inspection, you can see that there is some detail. I mean, it has the weapon. Not much to it, really. I mean, it's got the top. You know, it's pretty well designed if you factor that it isn't painted, but I mean, these are pretty solidly built, too. So that's Mahler. Mahler aside over here for now. We got Turbo. This is the Team Loki robot. Says here. I mean, at least they got that much. I mean, Turbo, even Turbo is even more painted than uh, Mauler. It's got the little antenna on top. It's got the uh, teeth on the side. Oddly enough, the teeth actually go a little. They're somewhat. Now, that may have been, I don't know, when they were producing it or whatever. Maybe mine's just. But. You know, it doesn't really sit flat on the on the uh, ground. If you put it on the ground, because the teeth are kind of sloped downwards a little bit, but it's pretty well detailed. I mean, you can easily tell it's turbo if you recognize if you know the show. I mean, it's got even it's even got the uh, oh, what do they call this thing? Little ring around the outside, like right where the teeth are. There's a little dark gray ring around the outside. It's, I think that was five or more. You know, that may have also been part of their weapon, but it was, it was, it was a full body spinner, so. That's Turbo. We have Lisa Winter's Mecha Tentamushi. This one's very well detailed. It's obviously season two because of the spikes. Little, uh, you had uh, aluminum spikes on the top. It was mostly decorative. It's very well detailed. You can clearly tell. This is Mecha Tentamushi. It's got the uh, antenna on top. Spots on the top. I mean, it's very obvious. This is very obviously. Uh, I can tell Tomuchi, it's very well detailed. I mean, even the small stuff. I mean, like, they even got the ribbons on the very bottom. You probably can't see it all that well. Might be have enough. This might show up better when it actually goes on, goes online, but. So you've got the wheels. You know, it's. Helps by actually. Uh, yeah, there you go. This goes to some size, like my fingers compared to the actual size of the toys. You only usually only get like two or three to a pack if you can find them on eBay. Good luck with that. So that's Tentabushi, and last we have Mouser Mecha Catbot. Probably the most detailed of the ones I have thus far, at least from even today and probably throughout. It's even got the uh, Cybernetic implant that was made from uh, Fawn Davis after his bout with. Executioner with the which had a uh, chainsaw sliced into the. Uh, it's got the tail. This is season two, obviously. It's got the tail. 
It's got the saw on the front. You can barely see it. Mostly the detail, okay? From the, the decorations, like, you know, even on the back. You've got some detail, I mean. And anyone who's watched BattleBots will recognize this very clearly, so. Yeah, mine's got a little tape on it because I, I like to actually, you know, battle with them best I can. So you're probably noticing a little bit of that on this one, especially around the lifting forks. But, yeah, these are actually very solidly built. I will have the next four, you know, somewhere down the line in the next video.